Hi everyone, good morning and uh, welcome to my channel. I am about to head to the kitchen right now to make a quick coconut chutney to accompany uh, the idlis that I have made. Um, when I make idlis, I usually make a larger batch and I would put it into an airtight container and keep them in the fridge. This would last me about a week or so to, uh, you know, to have for quick uh, breakfast meals and also for light dinner meals. So the coconut chutney that I'm about to make is one of the easiest chutneys that I know how to make and uh, it will be a uh, it will be eaten with the idlis that I heat up for my husband. So my husband and my daughter are real idli lovers. They love idlis and you know uh, they could eat idlis any time of the day. I however am not an idli person uh, though it's very nutritious and healthy, I am more of a dosa person and I think idlis are more healthy than dosa but that's the way it is. So that is why I mentioned that this is for my husband. Also, I'm not much of a breakfast person. I'm just a, a morning coffee person and then I have to like really wake up before I can really, you know, have my meals. But uh, in case you wondered why I said that. And also a very quick explanation as to what exactly these chutneys are. Well. Uh, in India, especially in South India, and also in uh, Indian homes in Malaysia, most Indian homes in Malaysia, uh, they, uh, our idlis and dosas are always accompanied by a condiment, which is usually called a chutney or a curry. You can have it with curry, you can have it with this lentil stew that, I call, that we call a sambar or dal, and, uh, but uh, it is also accompanied with chutneys very often. And uh, these chutneys can be spicy chutneys, can be spicy, sour, sweet chutneys. You know, there are many different uh, types of chutneys made of tomatoes, onions. Uh, there are many. But uh, the one that I'm making today, which is a simple coconut chutney, is the easiest chutney that I know how to make. So let's get into the kitchen and I'll show you how I make my chutney today. So all you need for co uh, a simple coconut chutney is some grated coconut. This has been frozen because... Well, I buy, fro I buy the coconut fresh and then I freeze it because it's quite tedious to go and get fresh coconut in the morning when you want to get it, when you want to, you know, make your coconut chutney. So I've taken about three green chilies. I'm not sure if I'm going to use all. I might even add more depending on how, uh, you know, as in, as in how you like it. So this is about two shallots. So I've got one here and another one that I've cut in half. And uh, we're going to grind all these together and a little bit of tamarind water and that too I would have this for about a week or maybe more so I've taken a little bit from there right so these are the ingredients that I'm going to grind right now so I put the coconut in here don't worry about that because these Indian blenders they're superb so just a little bit of this not too much I'm going to add just a bit of what I have already taken over here because uh, it can be too sour these uh, onions go in and as for the chilies I'm going to just uh, we all know about my husband and at least he can't so I'm going to take off these uh, seeds the seeds okay some of you who are very sensitive please use gloves when you do these things I just do it like this because I'm not that sensitive as long as I don't touch my eyes now okay so I take off the seeds these, this is where the heat comes from. Oops. This is where the heat comes from, guys. Okay. So one, just gonna break it, and then I'm gonna put in, put, put three in, and uh, you can even use um, red chilies if you like. I I kind of like the chutney that's made from red chilies, but for some reason my husband only likes the this one is like a the green chutney, which is. Um, with green chilies, but it's a, the color is like a very light green. So another one goes in, and let's hope it doesn't get too spicy. So this is third one, and uh, sometimes I even add some uh, coriander leaves in here. So you could do that too. Mint I've tried, but I don't like the taste so much. The so coriander leaves, and uh, now I'm going to wash my hands very quickly and pour in some water. So make sure it's uh, clean water, boiled water, just a little bit. This is clean and boiled. Okay, just that much. And now to grind this. 
So I put everything inside. Uh, yeah, so turn on the machine. Alright, I'm so careful to not place anything on this uh, or do anything without uh, while the, the switch is while the electricity is uh, not on because I have done crazy things like actually move this and this top being open and guess what happened you open and everything flies out and the total mess and totally unnecessary so I am so careful now to just turn on the electricity or turn on the switch only when I'm totally ready to get this done so yeah don't be like me so open and check to see how everything is doing well i still have lumps of frozen coconut so i might add a little bit more water you got to do this um, you know while you figure it as it as it goes along as it moves along i'm using this it's the same thing as uh, earlier i just drank the other bit of water so I'm using another another bottle of water. So. Some people add ginger in as well. And as, as I mentioned earlier, coriander leaves. Those are nice. It gives it a nice flavor. Ginger gives it a, a tiny bit of ginger is also healthy for you and gives it a nice flavor. The salt, guys. The salt. I forgot the salt. So a teaspoon. Goes in. Don't worry about the frozen coconut. Uh, of course, it won't, you know, be as creamy or whatever as fresh coconut. But I do these things to make life easier. Because uh, if I were to go out in the morning and go and get fresh coconut, or even like do that coconut thing, which I've never really done, great coconut. I've 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 seen my mom do it do it when I was very young. But since we so easily get grated coconut in the shops and so on, we don't really do that anymore. But anyway, this is the way I do it. I buy frozen coconut and that coconut just now would have been about one and a half of this cup. So this is how it looks like now. Can you see that? Okay, that's how it looks like. And uh, some people like it really fine blended. Some like it coarse. So I like it a little coarse and also I think I'm going to add another chilli because uh, I, uh, you can also taste it at this stage, so I don't, um, I don't really uh, taste too much of heat. It's not too spicy, and also I'd like the color to be a little green. So this is the fourth chili going in. Just taking out the spice. <sighs> My husband and I we are like chalk and cheese. I like really spicy food. He like really mild food. You know. But it's a chocolate and cheese situation that works. I'm going to pour uh, this coconut mixture into a, a pan. Now, um, the next stage of this uh, coconut chutney is basically to add the kalipa or the tadika, which is basically these ingredients. These, which is mustard seeds some uh, whole urad dal or you can put split few, and some dried chilies make sure you wash the dried chilies much earlier because dried chilies are not really clean if you you know you just put them in straight away so i'm going to put this in and uh, put all of it in and i'm going to heat it a little bit i know that some some uh, some people they would just make this and pour it into the raw coconut, uh, ground coconut. I don't really like doing that. I'll explain why. So guys, I ground it a little bit more because I felt it wasn't uh, properly blended and I added a little more water so it's like this. So, it's a bit too watery but it doesn't matter. No real hard and fast rules. Okay, because just now, I think I didn't grind it well enough. So I'm going to put it in here. Now I'm going to heat this. over here just a little bit just a tiny bit just let it get to one boil and then uh, turn it off so while that's going on take a pan 
to make the uh, tempering the, to temper the spices and these are the spices and uh, besides these I also need asafoetida asafoetida okay check to see if the salt is okay so I'm going to temper the spices you can add uh, usually it's nice to have some uh, gingerly oil for this type of uh, for tempered spices especially for dosas and idli so this chutney is going to accompany uh, idlis so it would be really nice if I if I use gingerly oil but you can use any other oil if you like so this over here is already starting to bubble a little bit so I'm going to turn it off um, I'm going to take it off the heat I, I basically heat this up for hygienic purposes because you don't know who has handled the I know it was frozen but still I don't know who has handled the when I buy packaged grated coconut it's still raw so you don't know how hygienically it was prepared or grated so you know a lot better to make sure to uh, take that extra step and also the coconut chutney lasts a lot longer when uh, at least for more than a day when I give it a little bit of a heat if it's raw I've tried that before just because I've seen people do that and uh, it is well it does taste different well it's about the same but when it's uh, when it's uh, raw it doesn't last sometimes not even through the night so now for this one okay so now I'm going to put in my mustard seeds about a teaspoon and a half maybe and my about a teaspoon and a half of uh, whole urad dal Oh gosh, look, I didn't even heat it up. Uh, okay. While that heats, remember, no need to beat yourself up just because it didn't heat up or the oil didn't heat up or something. So sorry guys, but I forgot another ingredient. I'll list it all out properly in my description. Curry leaves as well. Okay, now that I've put those two in, I'm going to put let that start to splutter and you know crackle or whatever and then once you hear that you can even put sliced onions in here sometimes I do but not today asafoetida about a teaspoon and then these chilies you can either put it like this or break it open a little bit because I think it's the, it might be the seeds inside that are spicy. So, we will spare my husband, reduce the heat. See the asafoetida tends to cake up a little bit. So, do that very quickly. Put in the curry leaves. Ah, basically it's done. Well, a bit too, a bit overdone, but that's fine. Sorry okay, guys, I kind of burnt that. I'm going to do it again. That. Then, a little bit of, just lower the heat. So maybe 300. Sometimes I make clumsy mistakes like this. This is why you should always have, I'm going to turn off the heat. Always have your ingredients handy at all times. Put this in. And also, this is an induction stove, so it heats up very fast. So, I'll turn off the heat. But the oil is hot at the time. And in goes these. Well, it doesn't have to get that brown that's life right we don't always get everything properly all the time okay with a little bit of a of a stir put in the curry leaves now 
or this over this as, as i mentioned earlier gives the whole chutney a wonderful yummy taste so that's my chutney the yummy coconut chutney all done hi guys just in case you guys were wondering why uh, that bit where I was tempering the spices didn't uh, quite flow, just letting you know that uh, I had done this video very uh, in a hasty manner because uh, I decided to make chutney today and I decided and I thought spontaneously that I will just share, uh, make a video and share uh, how I make the chutney with you guys. So it was done in a very hurried manner. So in a very quick hurried manner, it wasn't quite planned. So I ended up burning that first batch of spices and I redid. So what you saw was me uh, redoing that, uh, uh, tempering the spices. So just to let you know. So thank you so much everyone for joining me today and uh, watching me uh, make this very quick coconut chutney. And also, um, I have decided to not edit that little part where I burnt the tempered spices and I redid it. So I just wanted to you know, let you know that that's life and uh, with people like me uh, who have ADHD, I would like to create a little awareness that it's okay, you know, because um, when you have ADHD um, and for those who don't know what it is, it is uh, an imbalance in your brain. So sometimes you can be really uh, impulsive and you can do things at the very last minute, which is not a good thing. but it happens so much and it's some of these things it's it's not something that you really want to do it's something that um you know you can't help sometimes it's just the way we are so sometimes i do things to the last minute or i would be so impulsive that i would make a you know a disaster or sometimes it would go really really well so what i'm trying to say is well when you find that you know you're different embrace yourself don't beat yourself when you have an issue. Don't beat yourself when you make a mistake. Don't beat yourself up when you make a mistake. And uh, live life around your difficulties. And still, I think it is still very, very po possible to have a successful and productive life, even if you are different. So, bye everybody. Thank you for joining me today. Here's Shakila Shanmugam signing off. Bye guys.